So this is the quintessential ground hunt for the element crew. Uh, we've been split up a little bit at the beginning of this hunt. This is kind of the first morning that we're together, and we're going to go do some glass now at this place that has no trees, but usually a ton of deer because there's ag around and some good ditches and stuff like that. So uh, let's just take a look and see what happens on the old ground dizzle here. Buck paradise. Oh, look at there. Right, right, right away, a buck at first light. Oh, man. <clears throat> buck, more buck. Bucky, multi times. He looked. He's he's one of those that scares you because he's mm -hmm. kind of like young, but pretty got That's stuff going rank. on. Got, got mass. I know. I love seeing those more windows. Bucks. Yeah, I love. I don't. You're being facetious. <laughs> I like seeing skyline deer though. That's mm -hmm. cool. Early morning. Thank goodness for backup cameras. I almost ran over my bow. <laughs> I got out because I thought we were going to stalk one of those deer. And I laid my bow like right behind the truck and um, almost backed over it. <laughs> Good way to end your hunt. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, we're going to do some truck hunting, which is real weird. And I don't know how much I believe in it. It's probably the most normal looking thing you can do out here. Because this ranch guy parks right here. In the like road that quite a bit. Ding so. that's going on in your truck. Nice. <laughs> My truck cuts that back on on its own sometimes. Do I have a, I have a styrofoam cup on my little dash thing right there? I must have been watching a video on my phone. <laughs> and it's sitting there. And then we're going to. Y'all see all that orange stuff I have right there? That's my tip of the day. Mm -hmm. Put a bunch of orange paracord on things you don't want lost. <laughs> yep. I actually need to redo the one on my keys. It's kind of fading out a little bit. Turn brown? Yeah, it's kind of tan. It was just a perception. Oh, it got light. It did. Oh, I see something. Yep. Yep. I never <laughs> dip, 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 dip. Dip. Was out to his ears at least, wouldn't he? Yeah, maybe he's not that big. I don't know. There's does in the draw what down below see? that, too. Is it elk? 340 yards from the road. There are. Is that? There's a rut fest going on over there. We're fi figuring this out. I don't have a spot and scope. There's a rut fest happening. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Man, <laughs> you're consistent. Dude. That's right, you're dude. You're so consistent. <laughs> I don't let other people dictate my uh, vernacular. I use my own. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but uh, so there's a buck with a lockdown hot doe and some other does and a couple other little bucks all over there on this hill. And we're using 10 power binoculars to examine that. That's <laughs> not that. That's Anthony's deer. Yeah, it is, yeah. isn't it? Oh, look, down here, here's our deer. He's yeah. going to have to go quite a ways dog. before he gets our wind. Like, there's a there's a point yeah, there's we're plotting a point on how to go about this. There's, okay, I mean, a pop tart, too, I think. Probably. <laughs> there's roads on three quarters of this property. It's a big square. And uh, what we can do is drive around and actually make a stalk of this deer with a better wind and not be able to, or not have him be able to see us. Should we eat a pop tart before we go? <laughs> oh, maybe I wasn't yet. Yeah. Do you want one of mine? Nah. Yes, you do. You're a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. No, but this is um, this is inspiration. What does that mean? It's like if I kill, I get to eat all I want. But if oh. I don't, and I'm starving. That's when I was like, you ain't gonna get to eat a pop tart. If that's the case. That doesn't sound very inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. we had audio issues, mm -hmm. probably. Yep, we had audio issues. So that's probably why we threw this uh, sound over it. If you buy a Sony camera, you're going to have audio issues, I think. Yeah. Decided to uh, roll with the decoy, mm -hmm. which is cool. Because that buck was fired up and chasing off other bucks. And yep. We thought this was like a good time to do that. Yeah, orange it was. on that gun call. I lost yep. that one anyways. It didn't matter if I had orange or not. <laughs> Trying to figure out where they're at. There's terraces, so Dude. I can like, kind of oh. hide behind it. It's perfect setup, man. I got a fly in my hair right there. Did you? Yeah. Dang. Not the good kind. Either. Not the, Ooh, not look the at that antler right down there at the bottom. Yeah, bottom kind of left third. Look at that bottom right there. Booty shot. <laughs> so, oh, big buck. So the doe had seen us. Yeah, so we were stalking in, and somehow the doe picks us off. There's a little buck behind yeah, him back there, buck. too. Yep. And that dude still... Was like, I'm gonna go up there and fight them. And then the we doe held takes the decoy off. up, you know, and he comes at us. And then when yeah. the doe flipped out, because she knew we weren't a buck. Oh, here it comes. He this went. is a cool shot. Oh, oh man. epic, dude. Oh. So cool. There's a little buck. Yeah. So that's the extent of that encounter. Yeah. I'm telling y'all how stupid it was. But at this point in our hunting careers, it's a weird thing to say, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
we have come to realize that the chances are low. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't get heartbroken as bad when we don't shoot a buck yeah. off the ground. It's just kind of tough we to We were laughing quite a bit after this. Yeah. Like, and joking around. It's kind of early in the hunt, too. Yeah. So you're like, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but that was a giant buck. Like, that buck is well in the 150s. Yeah. Um, and to kind of tell you all a little bit what you couldn't see from the footage there, um, we're kind of new at this ground decoy game. We're using that heads-up decoy right there. And we're trying to figure out how close we can get. Well, really... We could have probably, with as aggressive as this buck was acting, that we glassed him, you know, it could tell he was that mad at other little deer. Uh, we could have been like 100 yards away probably and snort wheezed at this guy and he would have came up there. Mm-hmm. But we pushed in too close, we were probably 60 yards away, and the doe ended up spotting us and she was out. Yeah, so, I think that was, yeah, we, we had we had done this a lot before, mm-hmm. you know, like, like Casey was saying, we've learned that it's uh, low success a lot of times. And we had come to understand at least at the time that um, like calling at deer and flashing the decoy from several hundred yards doesn't work as, as much as or you know at least it hadn't worked for us mm-hmm. so let's try something new let's get closer let's push in and get right up on him and we had the terrain but the doe you know it's hard it's it's a lot easier to spot a buck in the grass than it is a doe because mm-hmm. he's got antlers up and they're shining and they're higher off his head and that doe could be looking at you never even know until yeah. she stands up you know Mm-hmm. So that's kind of where, where we got caught. But uh, I, this was a, actually a really warm day. We actually uh, saw a rattlesnake on this day. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty creepy little deal. <laughs> You're creepy. real creeped out about it. I mean, sure. it's early November. Like, rattlesnakes, go home. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's right. Like, I don't do want to mess with you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that was, it's a good encounter. Sweet buck. You know, it's sometimes you're just like, it's cool to get to see that buck. Mm-hmm. You know, I would much rather see him close. Yeah. Like you said before we started this, uh, we should have a mount of this gear to show you, but <laughs> yeah. we don't. So that's how it goes. Um, I don't know if there's too much to take away except um, just know that, like, you need to be able to read your body language or just read the situation a little bit better. And I think that's what we're kind of always learning, especially from the ground. Because in the tree stand, if you do something weird, it doesn't always mess you up because they're not looking at you. When you're on the ground, you are, I mean, you are they on their playing field. They Deer, see you. they see this right here. And yeah. You, yeah, you're not going to get by with much. So remember that if you're going to do some ground hunting this year. And remember, this is your element. Live in it.